Hi Dolph fans, former Dolphins tight end Troy Drayton here. On today's episode, we'll give you a recap of this week's Dolphins Academy football camp and tell you about the symposium involving Rise. Plus, talk about the youth and high school 707 tournament this weekend. My playing days are done, but my career as a Dolphin has continued. I am now the Dolphin Manager of Youth Programs, and part of my job includes Dolphins Academy. We have finished up our first week of Dolphins Academy football camp. Kids who participated had a chance to learn from the Dolphin alumni and even show off their skills in front of the players. Camp will continue next week with more skill training for the youth. Along with camp, the Dolphins Youth Programs will host more than 1,200 youth and high school students as a part of the ninth annual Dolphins Academy 707 tournament this weekend. The event will begin tonight with a symposium focusing on character development, practical life lessons, and skill training. It will also include breakout sessions led by the Roche Initiative in Sports for Equality, better known as RISE. We are excited that RISE will play a key role throughout the weekend with educational programming and interactive activities. For more information on RISE, visit risetowin.org. The weekend will continue Saturday and Sunday with our 707 tournament being held at Plantation Central Park. The tournament consists of age groups 10, 12, and 14. 32 teams will enter, however, only three will be crowned champions. For updates throughout the weekend, please make sure to visit dolphins.com, Twitter, and Facebook. We have a commitment to the military and those who serve. In the partnership with the United Way of Broward County's Mission United, we are hosting a military veteran hiring event at Baptist Health Training Facility at Nova Southeastern University on June 27th. The Dolphins will be hiring current and former members of the military for open game day positions for the 2016 NFL season. Visit dolphins.com for more information. Earlier today, the Dolphins, the National Football League Foundation, Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers announced that we are uniting to support the victims' families and survivors of the tragedy in Orlando. Together, we will contribute $400,000 to the One Orlando Fund. For more information on assisting the Orlando community or contributing to the One Orlando Fund, please visit oneorlando.org. Well, that's all I have for you guys today, but we'll see you next week with more Dolphin Update.